वेलकम टू अवर चैनल टुडे वी आर कॉन्फ़िगरिंग विनसी सर्वर क्लाइंट इन टी आई वी नाइनटीन लेट्स स्टार्ट आई हैव ए टू वर्चुअल मशीन्स वन इज क्लाइंट एज एंड अनदर इज सर्वर This is my client PC. Click on Add New, then click on RT Professional, then press OK. Add IE journal. Now click again Add new, Add client here. Press OK. Rename this PC Server zero one. This is our server com virtual machine. now rename again another pc this is client 01 this is client 01 click on okay add ethernet driver make a relationship between server and client just drag and drop go to server screens create one screen go to hmi tags add new tag table add here uh, four internal tags three to fours this is first tag this is second tag and this is the third tag now i copy the name of tag this
now compile the project go to control panel go to network adapter then click on network sharing enable all these setting on both computers server as well as client also we need to in in start the services these four services first is dns second is function discovery sstp this is already running then upna look the computer the client one is showing now same setting we need to do in server side go to control panel network sharing then enable all settings here the client one is showing but server not showing we need to check the four services is running or not if it is not running then we need to start it same services we need to check here ssdp it's running then upn enable this now go to network refresh it the server is showing now go to runtime folder then give the semantic rights to this folder semantic hmi then press ok give full access then press apply ok apply ok then ok the username of both computer must be same username and password also look the user the user is eows the user must be same on both computers server as well as client computer look the eows user then save compile it click on extend download
go to network select the folder which is shared on server side click on load there are some errors scs this error come because the terminal bus is not configured on both computers so we need to configure the terminal bus right click on here and go to setting select the terminal bus this ok press ok look the server computer showing in somatic cell same we need to check on server side also go to this PC then semantic shell look thus both computer are showing here also close and open again the client PC update now click here extend download click on load tick all check marks then click on load It will take some time. Look the server computer. This is our server computer. The project is downloaded and uh, open the runtime project in server computer. look the runtime is started on server side i put some values now open the project in client computer now open I forget to put user administrator then close the project stop the project in server site open server computer deactivate runtime then click here go to user administrator
create at least one user then put the password press ok again down download the project extend download click on load check mark all ticks the project is downloading now runtime is started again in server The runtime is started on server computer. I put value again. now open again the project if the server computer not showing here then click here and type syntax like this click on server one open put admin username and password which we defined on user administrator press ok look the runtime is activating runtime is activate successful in client computer uh, in my left side server computer and right side is client computer I put the values from client side look the server also changing the values thanks for watching our channel